congratulations congratulations and congratulations if you are a grant uh, subscriber congratulations once again message of hope message of joy and message of uh, celebration pay close attention because by the time you listen to this message this video you are going to be happy and your mind is going to be at rest Make sure you subscribe to the update for more tips and share this video on your social media platform, guys. Appreciate you guys for stopping by and bye for now. Uh, it appears that the silence in the grand ecosystem is appearing to many as a nightmare or having to have been kept in the dark. And uh, it also signifies absolute loss of hope. Absolute loss of hope. And uh, it is now we're beginning to realize that uh, the darkest time of the night is actually when it's about to be done. And most predominantly, the stars shines brighter in darkness. Now, this is the breaking of the morning. This is the morning time. If you go outside right now and you look towards the sky, you wouldn't see the stars. You would only see the sunlight all right it isn't because the stars are not there they are still where they were yesterday night they are still shining you know but you couldn't see them why the greater light is out so it has beclouded the smaller ones now as long as the greater light goes down to sleep and then it gives rise to the smaller stars to begin to twinkle and then when you see the moon shine the moon has no light of its own the moon actually shines on the account of the sunlight that is beaming light across it you are the little stars that is shining on the account of the greater light you are the moon that shines on the beaming of the greater light so i believe that at this darkest time that appears uh, passive and non-redundant uh, and so uh, it appears like nothing is happening precisely is the time for you to shine because you are the stars all right those who are written off in life in this grand ecosystem is about the time to spring up for surprise silence as they say is golden and this indeed uh, is going to be historic in the history of Nigeria yes it's not as though uh, there is total silence because we are getting information intermittently based on the state the grand disbursement is momentarily but it is just that what we want to hear is not what we are hearing that could be painful i know but regardless of that there are information coming to us for us to know the level at which disbursement is which would be preferable perhaps total silence no information from uh, the channels of telegram channels that we subscribe to no information from the influencers on youtube channels no information on facebook everything is just total blackout until the day that disbursement wants to happen then the country director just comes up and begin to speak I believe that human that I know wouldn't want that yes majority of them would have moved away have moved on with their lives and felt some wouldn't even cast their mind there anymore they just forget about it they won't even know that there was any information that comes out you know but the fact that we are still being briefed the Ostracom will come out and tell us the state of things. Uh, Pastor Obasi Okori will come out and tell us 
the spirit of things. Uh, Joyce Lovely will come out and tell us one or two things. You know, all of these organs on UAG, then on Theobat, Ambassador Newman will come out and tell us one or two things. Yeah, uh, uh, Theobat has not really, that's uh, Pastor Theophilos, have not really been coming out in person, but have in time used his head, which is Ambassador Newman, to speak to the populace at different times. Then, if they had been silent all along until the time that this busment wants to happen, I believe that it won't be funny at all. We still get information from them. Barrister Peter said that Kuku speaks through a head for St. Rita Foundation and Midwest Improvement Program. And um, the other one, Supreme, also comes out at a different time to speak based on where they are at the moment. So I want to believe that we are still privileged to be hearing information. It appears no grant in this country ever has come and been fruitful. And it's like it's a force that is fighting, it's a syndrome fighting this nation uh, because of either the government or the people involved, the personalities, the kind of persons that we have in the system. From the time of Sam, I don't know where that young man is at the moment. He has eloped with a lot of uh, subscribers funds down to Terpicon and the rest of them had actually forgotten the rest of them, majority of them. Terpicon, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot that were subscribed to at different times, you know. And before you know it will appear like uh, uh, they want to deliver Golden Bridge and the rest of them like that. And before you know, you wouldn't hear nothing about it anymore. We won't close chapter about them and they are gone and they are gone for good you see but the the real one that shook everywhere appears to be uaag yet there is still a delay in the process and uh, whatever thing is coming out now is to tell us that hey don't lose hope in the process because it will still deliver until we come together and begin to fight that which is fighting us or fighting the country at large fighting individual want to grapple people down and wrestle them to the ground their expectations wants to be rubbished and each time they expected something it's about to you know to happen it appears it's looking green and it's about to happen to them a force comes again and send them back further and appears in grand community ecosystem when you take two steps forward you take four backwards you take four forward you take 14 backwards you know and it's like moving in an easier direction making a motionless movement <laughs> a motionless movement it, it, it appears someone riding a bike but not actually riding it but peddling it you are standing there's a possibility that a man is standing on a bicycle and is just peddling the pedals just on a spot now he's making a motion but he is not making a movement there's a high degree of possibility like that you are peddling the pedals you are sitting on your bicycle peddling the pedals but you are not moving it so you are making a motionless movement and that is what appears to be happening now within the grand ecosystem but we want to believe that nothing is bigger than the blood of jesus christ when we apply the blood nothing penetrates or pass through it when we pray when we come together but can we come together that's the issue can we have one voice that's the problem can we have a say that is the issue can we pray for people handling this that is the issue can we pray for the system that is the issue our expectation is high yes but can we also pray for 
the organ where this is coming from to us. I always believe that what would be, would be. So whether UAAG, St. Rita Foundation, or Supreme, or Theobat, they are like a second thought to what I do, which I have always advised us to have other streams of income. Let this grant just be by the wayside. You don't even know the amount coming to you. You don't know the amount coming to you. A lot has been said, oh, we're going to give them 10 million, or now slash to 5 million, now slash to uh, 2 million. At the point we even had 300,000, at the point we had palliative of 50,000. Could you imagine? And despite that we are hoping to get this just as part of benefit, but it doesn't mean that all of your eggs should be dropped there. I just felt we should talk to ourselves and at this juncture if you are going to believe in the process pray for the process you don't need to call it a rock pool if it is a process you are still expecting the fact that you are still getting to you want to hear information concerning the the ground itself that shows that you are still interested <coughs> i beg your pardon that shows that you are still interested. The fact that your ears are still aching, that means you are still interested. And there's no point calling it a scam or a rock pool project or, uh, or, or it's a mess and all that. Just keep on praying and trusting God. What will be would be. And let's trust God for everything that God has promised would happen through this uh, set me. The time for the fulfillment of the scriptures concerning your life will finally come. And you are going to be the sole testifier of what God is doing. So as you step out today, another weekend has come. As from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we bob into another week. But as we get into another weekend in this month of October, I decree and declare concerning you that you will never step walk into death. You will not step into sorrow. You will not step into troubles. You will not step into frustrations. You will not step into lack. You will not step into bondage. And you will not step into wrong hands. The Lord will guide you and order your steps for every step you need to take for the fulfillment of the promises and covenants of God for your life, the Lord will push you into that step by prophecy. The goodness and mercies of the Lord will find you and work for you in every areas of life. And once again, I wish you a very fruitful day filled with bliss, mercy, and favor. Have it.